This video explains how to subtract and add a vector from each row of a matrix in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. For this example, we first need to create an example matrix, as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called MyMet. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a matrix containing five rows and three columns. And all the values in this matrix are numbers. Now, in the next step, we also need to create a vector object that we can add and subtract from our matrix. And we can do that as you can see in line five of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector is appearing at the top right, which is called myVec. And we can print this vector as well to the RStudio console, as you can see in line six of the code. And then you can see that our vector contains the values one, two, and three. Now it's important to note that the number of values in this vector is the same number as the number of columns in our matrix object. So in this case, the length of the vector is three elements. Now in the next step, we can apply the sweep function to subtract the values in our vector object from each row of our matrix. And within the sweep function, we need to specify the name of our matrix. Then we need to specify the value two, and then we need to specify the name of our vector object. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new matrix object that I'm calling mymat new one. So if you run lines eight to 10 of the code, you can see that this new matrix is appearing at the top right. And we can print our new matrix to the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new matrix and we have subtracted the values in our vector. So the values one, two, and three from each row of the matrix. So if you compare the new matrix with the old matrix, you can see that the value one was subtracted from each cell in the first column. The value two was subtracted from each cell in the second column. And the value three was subtracted from the third column. So in this first example, I have explained how to subtract values from each row of a matrix. However, we can also add values to each row of a matrix. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 13 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm once again using the sweep function and the syntax in lines 13 to 15 is basically the same syntax as in lines eight to 10 in the previous example. However, this time I'm also specifying the fun argument to be equal to the plus operator. So if you run lines 13 to 16 of the code, you can see that another matrix is appearing at the top right, which is called mymat new two. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console as well by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that we have added the values in our vector object to each row of our matrix. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.